Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to find factors and then we're going to solve these given cubic equations in a super easy way. And one more thing we want to make sure that our given cubic equations are in standard form as you can see on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and get started with the very first example. Right now, as you can see in this equation, our leading coefficient is 5. We want to make it 1. It must be 1. So we can make it 1 by dividing by 5. If we divide this one by 5, we must divide by 5 across the board. All right. So thus, you can see now we got this equation, which has a leading coefficient 1, isn't it? Now, the next thing I want you to just focus on this part. This is the very last number, which is 1 over 5. What are the possible divisors or the factors of this number? Thus, our possible divisors turns out to be a positive negative 1 and positive negative 1 over 5. One more thing I want to just make sure that our highest degree of this cubic polynomial is 3. 3 means that we must have at most 3 solutions. So that means we are looking for 3 numbers. So we're going to pick 3 numbers from these possible divisors. If we add them up, we must get this number if they add up to this thing. And if I, we multiply those three numbers, they should multiply out to one over five. So let me just show you really easy way to figure out those three numbers. Just focus on this negative nine over five. Negative nine over five, nine is pretty close to 10, isn't it? Negative 10 over five is negative 2. So I can write this thing in negative 9 over 5. I can write as, isn't it this pretty close to 2? So I can write negative 2 plus 1 over 5, isn't it? So that is going to give you the same number over here. So that means over here now what we're going to do is I'm going to put this negative 2 I can write as negative 1, negative 1, plus 1 over 5. Since we are interested in three numbers right now over here, so this is the one number, this is the second one, this is the third number. If you add them up, we're going to get this required number. And if you multiply them, obviously we're going to get this thing. So that means we figured out our those three numbers. Those are negative 1, negative 1 and positive 1 over 5. Once again, let me just repeat. If you multiply these three numbers, you will see that that is going to give you this one. And if you add them up, that should give you this number. So thus our factor is going to be simply, let me just put down three parentheses. Let me just show you how we're going to do this thing. So you put down x, x and x. Now I want you to just pick, put this number negative 1 right up here and this next one negative 1 right up here and positive 1 over 5 is going to be right up here. So the next thing what we want to do is I want you to just look at this part. This is a fraction. I want you to get this 5 and drag it to the front. So that means this is going to look like 5x plus 1. So our complete factors turns out to be x minus 1 times x minus 1 times this one. And that is our f. And finally, our solution set is going to be a simply whatever you got these numbers over here. You see right now, you just switch the sign, change the sign and that's going to be our solution set. This become positive 1, this become positive 1, and this become negative 1 over 5, and that is our answer. 
Now let's focus on our second example. In this example, you see our leading coefficient is 7. We want to make sure that this must be 1. So the best way to make it 1 is by dividing by 7, the same number. If we divide this one by 7, we must divide by 7 across the board. So our problem is going to look like now with a coefficient 1, leading coefficient 1. Now I want you to just focus on the very last number which is negative 1 over 7. We want to figure out the possible divisors of the factors of this number. Thus our possible divisors turns out to be a positive and a negative 1 and positive or negative 1 over 7 for this number. You can see this one. And now the next step is, so we need to pick uh, three numbers that if we add them up, this adds up to this number. And if we multiply, this multiplies up to negative 1 over 7. So there's many different ways. Let me show you an easy way to figure out those three numbers. So I want you to just look at this 13 over 7. Let's manipulate it a little bit. Let's 13 over 7. This fraction could be written as 2 minus 1 over 7. That's going to give you this one. Now I want you to just focus on 2. And 2 could be written as 1 plus 1 minus 1 over 7. That means we got these three numbers. We needed three numbers. That's the first one. This is the second one. This is positive 1, by the way. And this is the third one. So these are the three numbers which are 1, 1, negative 1 over 7. If you multiply them, we're going to get for sure, we're going to see that we get this number and if we add them we're gonna get this number so thus our factors turns out to be I want you to just put down three parentheses because we have three factors x x x over here now I want you to look at this thing this is a positive one you put down positive one right up here and there's another one positive one over here I want you to put down positive one and this is the other one is negative 1 over 7 you've put down. So those are our three factors. Now this is a fraction. We want to put in a little bit different way. Okay, this 7 at the bottom, I want you to drag it up to the front. Okay, so I can write this one as 7x minus 1. And then the next thing what we want to do is I want you to just put everything whatever was over there. So this is x plus 1 and x plus 1. This is your complete factors. And our solution set is going to look like whatever these numbers we put it down these ones you just change the sign you switch the sign. So that is going to look like simply negative 1, just change the sign, negative 1, and this, the opposite sign of negative 1 over 7 is positive 1 over 7, and these are our solutions, and that's pretty much our answers. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.